Hey y'all, this is part four, and this is an if-else statement with some numbers. So we're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, both numbers representing totals for dogs and cats, determine if dogs are greater than eight and cats are less than nine, <clears throat> which if you've been paying attention, this should say are fewer, uh, and returns a specific string for each case. Uh, the only issue with calling it fewer is that sometimes people have a difficulty lining up the less than operator with a fewer than English language statement, so that's my excuse for the bad grammar there. Um, but anyway, your function should use an if-else statement to determine if there are both more than eight dogs and fewer, there we go, than nine cats, and if there are, should return the string number of cats and dogs is acceptable, and if not, should return the string number of cats or dogs is not acceptable. So again, not doing anything super fancy, just returning a string in either case, but we're getting used to the way the nifl statement works. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, balance pets. So if you're like me, that puts in mind this idea of like having a person balance several different pets on different parts of their body, which seems rather comical, especially depending on what kind of pets they are. Some people have some wild pets. But anyway, here are... Um, you know, test cases, and so if there are, and for this one I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wrap the pseudocode around, and the only reason is that uh, this plugin crashed. Oh hey, it's back. Excellent work. Uh, okay, I, I get it. I suppose that's just going to be there now. Let's run and see what happens. Alright, let's copy all of this and refresh the page. Yeah, I know they might not be saved. Oh boy, trouble in this house. So the first thing that we're going to do, because we are sticklers about it, and you don't have to do this, we're going to change the theme to dark, we're going to change code intelligence to disabled. Uh, the theme to dark is just because, um, I don't have a reason for it. There's something about the way your aperture and your eye works, but that's not why I do it. Um, and the code intelligence is a significant reason. And the idea would be that you're probably not going to have something like code intelligence working. Uh, and code intelligence like auto-completes words for you and suggests things that you might type in place of what you are typing. And I don't think that that's usually part of the interview. So if we paste, excellent. If we run, we should see a bunch of undefines. Perfect. So let's clear the result. And for this one, as I was trying to say before the plugin crashed, we're not going to wrap the if statement and the else statement around um, the pseudocode. And the reason is because it can be kind of frustrating to try to do that and to fail. So for now, we'll just like ignore it. So dogs are more than eight dogs. I should say greater than instead of more than. But that's okay. So dogs needs to be more than eight. And come on, where's the end symbol? Uh, it's actually called an ampersand, in case we're curious. Also, uh, before this was a hashtag or a pound sign on a, <clears throat> on a telephone, this was called an octothorpe. But anyway, uh, less than eight, nine cats, we should say fewer than nine cats, but we'll say less than, <clears throat> just so we remember that it's the less than symbol. So less than nine cats, and if that's the case, I'm actually just going to copy and paste these return statements, and the reason being, uh, they're already written. So why not just copy and paste them? Now, the reason, of course, would be to get faster at typing. You're not going to get faster at typing if you spend all of your time copying and pasting, but I'm not trying to get faster at typing, so I'm going to copy and paste sometimes. Let's go ahead and run this. And let's run it again. Uh, should log number of cats and dogs is acceptable. Cats and dogs is acceptable. So then not, not, and not. And it makes sense, right? Because this one is the acceptable ratio. This one is uh, too few, what are they, dogs and too many cats. Uh, this one is too few dogs, uh, but just the right number of cats. And same thing in reverse for that one. So now that we've completed our function, let's go ahead and copy it. Bring it back to the input window, and we're in good shape. Excellent work, y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.